Today is a very sad day. If you're from New South Wales, oh! That's right, yesterday, Queensland destroyed New South Wales, 22 to six. It was our 11th win in 12 years. I'm starting to think maybe we should change the rules, make it simpler, give them a handicap. I don't know, something. Anyway, let's get into the news and events from my GC. It's thanks to Griffith. One thing you could do today is gloat. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's not nice. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> You could head down to the Bolter Brewing Company though, where the Village Market Talks is happening tonight. It does sound like a really good networking opportunity by this Village Market Group. And of course, if you want to start a small business, this will be a great place to learn. The Taste of Kingscliff and Tweed begins tomorrow, so they'll have events all across the region to taste local produce and just admire some of the amazing food and food outlets they've got down in the Tweed region. Just don't mention the state of origin. Or you could join Flan and Emily Jade with Christo at Metricon this Saturday afternoon when the Suns take on Collingwood. But there are plenty of things happening around the city, so if you're looking for an idea of something to do, jump onto the MyGC website and check out our What's On calendar. Now, there's been a bit of controversy around the City Council, and it's all to do with Commonwealth Games tickets. I'm going to try and explain the situation as well as I can understand it. It all starts with this guy. Dale Dixon, he's the CEO of the council. He's been in his role for around a decade, give or take, and the council is considering replacing him when his contract ends, so they're watching his every move quite closely. Now, Mr. Dixon got the city council to purchase 1,800 tickets to the Commonwealth Games, and he's well in his right to do that, as long as the tickets are used to enhance the city's reputation, or are supposed to be given to people who otherwise couldn't go to the games, like students or homeless people. But there were some rumors going around that some of these tickets might be given away to council as freebies. And that starts to be a bit of a grey area. Now Peter Beattie's the chairman of the Commonwealth Games and he scolded the council for dragging the games into a scandal. And yesterday the mayor attacked Peter Beattie saying he needs to concentrate on delivering the best games possible and that to mingle within the council and try to reprimand the councillors is beyond his brief and beyond his political use by date, bearing in mind that Peter Beattie used to be the premier of the state. So while Peter Beattie and the mayor might bury the hatchet and forget about this for now, expect to see more about the CEO Dale Dixon in the coming months as we find out if he will or won't be replaced. In one word, politics. Fun, isn't it? If you want to read more about that story, we've got it all up on the MyGC website. And before we meet with someone local in the area, today's forecast partly cloudy, there might be some fog up in the hinterland, getting down to 11 degrees tonight, tomorrow mostly sunny, and then a possible shower or storm on Saturday afternoon. Good, Good morning, morning Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. This is Mervyn and Benny. Benny. Yeah, and little hey. Benny. Hey! I heard it was Benny's birthday tomorrow. It is too, it's 12 tomorrow. Goodness me, he's looking good for a 12 year old. I know. Wow. I'm come back in my next life and like him. Yeah. Now, you've got a, an accent, is it South African? Yeah, mate, a long time back. Really? What's the story with that? Oh, I don't know. At his father decided I had enough from coming out here. I loved it. Never, never, never regret it, mate. So, how does Gold Coast compare then, mate? Oh, this is heaven. Yeah. <laughs> You heard it here first. Mervyn says, this is heaven. So if you haven't moved here yet, well, you're just living in hell. Yeah, but I don't kill too many people. Oh, that's right, keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a wonderful birthday tomorrow, Benny, and you have a great day, mate. Thanks, you too, Cam. You guys as well. Catch you later. Bye.